Hello and welcome to Sue Finley Designs. Um, as always, thank you for supporting these videos. It's very much appreciated. Now today's video is the first in a series that I'm working on. And the series is mixed media and resin. So um, for the different video tutorials, I'm going to be trying different things in resin. So different textures. Um, different ideas and things like that so it's going to be um, a whole range of new things and, and just experimenting to see uh, what things you can use in resin and what kind of results you get and what have you so today's first video is on how I created this piece now this um, was quite a challenge I actually tried a number of different things before I came up with this one. Um, I tried Plaster of Paris. Um, that cured way too quickly and it was not easy to work with. And then once it did actually dry, it just fell off the board and smashed into a lot of pieces. So that, that was not gonna work. Um, I also did sand with PVA glue. Now that did actually work okay and I will be doing a sand one. Um, for this one, I actually bought some air dry clay, and while the air dry clay is a little bit tricky to work with with some things, I think it would be good for um, other ideas. So I will expand on that as we move along, trying out different things with the air dry clay. But for this one, um, you can see here, I created the tree and all the little bits and pieces uh, and the leaves out of the air dry clay and then we set it in resin so that's what today's video is all about so without further ado let's get on with the video so for this project I'm using Walker sun clay which is an air dry clay uh, a number of cutters that I already have in stock um, that bowls to put some water in to clean your hands and what have you and then that's the board that I'm going to be doing for the resin in. Now you can use any dry clay, uh, dry clay that you have in your country um, just check, um, just do some little reviews and things um, on Google just to see which one is best suited for creating this kind of project. This probably wasn't the best clay for this project because when it was it's drying it actually folded up a little not folded it sort of bent up a little bit on itself um so and it was actually quite fragile when it had dried so you know it would this clay i think would be better for bulkier items so if i was doing thicker leaves um and various things like that this would probably work quite well but i will experiment and try different things with the clay now I'm using the board that I'm going to be doing the resin on to create the design so I can see how things fit and shape and for the time being I'm just laying it all on top of each other and just getting the general design. Now after this dried a couple of the arms on this tree did actually break off so I didn't end up using them in the finished piece. They're a little bit thin and um, so that was one thing I need to bear in mind when I'm creating new pieces. So you know, this is something you need to look at when you're using your own uh, dry clay. And I guess at the end of the day it's all about experimentation. So you try it, some things work, some things don't. And you just make mental notes of what to do in the future. Yeah, I don't think I would use this clay for this type of design in the future. I think I would use polymer clay. Um, and the oven bake one and just bake it because I think that would that would lend itself much more to this style of design and I will be doing a polymer clay um, tutorial as well because I do have polymer clay in stock so I will be doing that in the future so if you don't have air dry clay but you have polymer clay then by all means use that instead because I think it's a, it's a lot stronger and you'll it'll yield better results So what I'm doing here is I'm just going around and drawing um, lines with a wooden stick to give the tree 
trunk and the branches a bit of texture and also um, joining the the limbs together so I'm blending them in with each other and I didn't really need to do that I could have just done them all separate and then laid them all out in the resin but again like I say it's all down to experimentation to see what works and what doesn't but the uh, while it's wet this is the time to create the the bark and, and your design and etching all the different elements that you want Now, air dry clay does have a tendency to crack when it's drying because because it contains water. As the water evaporates, the clay actually shrinks. So you don't want to stick this to the board because you want it to just sit on top because we're going to actually stick it with the resin. So it, it didn't really matter that much. But what I'm doing here is I'm just adding elements to the design. But I will stick them together on the clay itself, but they're not sticking to the board. So I'm just going to work, work my design and just get the shaping that I want. And here I'm just using a ball tool. Now I had that already in, in stock because of my polymer clay. You can use the end of a pen or anything that's slightly rounded um, to create the, the indentations in the ball. And the reason why I'm doing that is one for a design element and two to help the clay stick together. Now after I set this to dry, what I should have done was cover it with some um, cling film or cling wrap, glad wrap or whatever you call it in your country. Now that would have evened out the drying process so it quite possibly would not have curled as much had I have done that. But I only found that out with hindsight because I'm not really used to using air dry clay but it's definitely something I'll try in the future. And here I'm just using some cutters that I already have in stock. Um, you can use cookie cutters, anything like that to create the shape. And all I'm doing here is creating the leaves. Now I left that to dry for a good week. Um, it was supposed to completely turn white. Um, so that's why I left it for as long as I did. And it is very, very brittle. You've got to be very careful when handling it. So like I say... I think I would be better off with polymer clay for creating designs like this but for the purpose of the video it works well so you can substitute your air dry clay for polymer clay and all I'm doing here is I'm just painting a metallic gold on the the trunk and the leaves now the metallic gold I'm using is from deco art and I think it's called antique gold but I'll put a list of all the um, the usual products and things that are used in the description. Now I'm not going to bother painting the back side of this um, because like it's like I say it's going to sit in the resin so there's no need for that and it, it's not a perfect paint job because I'm actually going to apply a bit of resin to the top as well to give it a nice gloss finish but I'll also be adding some of the gold that I use um, for the background on this to give it some you know some glitter and some highlights and things now I did actually initially paint the broken limbs but I didn't end up using them in the design because once I put it onto the resin I realized I didn't actually need them by putting the leaves and things on they weren't required So that's been drying now for 24 hours it's now on to the resin stage so just two colors for this color obsession black truffle and the a1 pigments sparkle red brown uh, crystal series so th that that's all we're going to use for the background So because the, the background, um, I want this to just blend away and you not see a great deal of it because the tree is the main focus. However, I wanted a bit of sparkle in there. So I've not mixed it around too much, but it's, it's just to give a hint of colour behind the tree. So it's plain and simple. Quick zap with the heat gun to zap any bubbles. So starting with the tree, what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a bit of the black resin to the back side of the tree so that um, 
we've got a good um bond with the resin below now i probably didn't need to do this but i thought well what the hell i've got some resin left anyway so this is what i'm doing i've just um adding that round there just so that before we stick it onto the resin and what i'm doing here as well is i'm painting some of the black and red brown glitter onto the top just to give it a sparkle now i'm not too worried about um how much is covered on this because what happens is that the darker colors will actually fall down into the creases in the design and so you get like a transparent look on the top so it gives it like an antique look which is quite nice and as well as um, strengthening the air dry clay and providing a waterproof barrier because what uh, air dry clay apparently is still uh, water um, absorbent until it's been sealed so the resin worked well to seal the clay as well and it also gives it a really nice glossy look now all I'm going to do here is I'm just doing the same with the leaves I'm just um, putting a little bit of resin on the backside and just positioning them to see where I want them to go now because the um, the branches on the tree did actually curl up slightly I do place some of the leaves underneath the branch so it gives it and making sure that it's there's it's touching the branch and the board so it just adds a little bit of extra support on those branches that are actually sticking up a little bit ideally I would have liked them to be flat and again that's where the polymer clay would have worked better but for the purposes of this design it's still really effective and I like the results that I'm seeing so now that I've liked the positioning I'm now going back over and painting on some more of that resin in the black and the, the bronze color just to give it a bit of shine um, and again so it seals it so I'm just going to go around there and do that with all of the leaves So now that I'm happy with that, it's now on to the decor decoration filler stones. And all I'm doing here is I'm just hand placing these because I don't want too many of those. So I want it to have like a little bit of sparkle around the design. Now, I mentioned earlier that I painted the board gold. Now what happens here is when the gems sink, the, it, the resin separates around it. And it you then it then takes on the colour of the gold inside the gem. So this makes it like for a really nice highlight and sparkle around the piece. So that's why I painted the board gold. So as you can see, it's actually turned out quite well. It's um better actually a lot better than I anticipated, but there is room for improvement. So if you take on board the suggestions and things I made I made, then you know you too can have a really interesting piece well that's it for this resin and mixed media tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and it's given you some ideas to incorporate some mixed media in your pieces I would love to see your design so please feel free to join the Facebook group if you haven't already and post your designs on there as always there'll be a list of the items have used in the description but like I say feel free to improvise on your own products so thank you for watching and until next time I hope you have fun creating your pieces so it's a goodbye from me and I shall speak to you all again soon